Hello and welcome. I am Harish and in this channel I talk about using various NoCo tools to build anything that you want from websites to apps to automations or even voice based skills. And this is episode 6 of building stuff with Terry.so and in this episode we are going to cover how to automate your forms using Zapier and Tally.so. So let's get started. All right, so far we've looked uh, at different functionalities available in Tally.so like building forms, storing data into Google Sheets or storing the data into Notion database or even the tracking mechanism using hidden fields on Tally.so and creating templates or using templates and this one is going to be really simple and straightforward where I'm going to show you how to automate your form submissions and do multiple actions after that using Zapier as an integration with Tally.so and the example that I'm going to build here in this specific video is going to be a book an appointment system where people your customers will book a one-on-one -on -one session with you they'll pick a date and time and uh, once they do that we'll schedule a google calendar invite directly to them so that they don't miss out on joining the one-on-one -on -one session with you to book the calendar invite we'll obviously need a zapier account to create the automations and obviously you'll also need tally.so account to be able to create the form in the first place right so let's quickly get building i'm going to use the existing form contact me and modify it a little bit to make it look like a book a uh, one-on-one -on -one session right so contact me changes to also to modify the logo you can upload uh, an image or your specific logo or even link it directly using a url just want to show that since i didn't cover that previously same with uh, change cover and change cover though you can also along with upload and link uh, using a link you can also use unsplash or change just the color right so you can change the color to whenever whichever color you want or just use an unsplash image directly search for an image and just click on it so that it gets applied so i'm going to do just this and you can also reposition the image to make it look uh, beautiful you can just drag and position it wherever you want i'll just leave it there for the one session booking appointment uh, form i'm going to remove the hidden field not required but we will need a date and time right so let me quickly add the date field and also add the time field and we will customize this also a bit i'll just get into that in just a second so we have a date and time field i'll just do pick a date and also do pick a time now to make it easier for the user i'm going to make the time field have a label that says when to book the time right so i'm going to do label move it above the time field so that it applies to the time field and say pick a time between 8 pm to 10 pm only right now to be able to validate that condition you know what to do now right so i'm going to add a condition block if you don't know how to add conditional logic you can also check the other episode that I have on creating conditions. For that, head over to the link in the description below. And now we'll have to check if the time is in between 8 and 10 p.m. If not, we show an error, right? Or if it is empty, we also show an error. By default, they are all mandatory fields, as you are aware. When you create a block, all the fields are block, right? Be it a text uh, label or even the f form fields. So if pick a time is before, 8 p.m. I'll add another condition. If pick a time is after 22, right? If it is after 10 p.m. And sorry, this is or, right? If this or this or if it is empty is is empty, right? So if these three conditions match, we'll have to show an error, right? To show an error, we'll also add the error text itself, right? So I'm going to click block and add a text basically, which is the error text, which is hidden by default and only shows up when there is an error on the form, right? So the error will be, please pick a time in between 
8 pm and 10 pm only right that's our error i'll quickly change it change the color also to red to make it look like an error right this is the error and if you click on the dots you can also hide this block so by default it is hidden and if these conditions match what you can, what we can do is we can do show blocks and select the text block here this is the text that we just added right and go is common and in this uh, thank you page i'll change it to your booking is confirmed please check your email for the calendar invite and the call link to join right simple very straightforward also along with all the text blocks there is also an image block that you may use where you can again insert images from unsplash or upload the image however whichever is comfortable to you i'll just quickly select one image from here and add it to the thank you page just to make it look beautiful guys that's all you can add your own specific images oh sorry i, I dragged the wrong one should this should be here and this image should be on top oh sorry about that okay that goes there now i'm going to select this and move it here right so we have thank you page we have the form conditions all of them set everything is uh required for us and uh, let us publish this first we'll get to the integration guys let us publish this first this is published now we are ready now when somebody books this we want to create a calendar invite right for that we'll go to integrations and click on zapier if you remember you will need a zapier account for this to work so zapier is right here just click on connect what this will do is this will directly take you to zapier right so you can do this integration in zapier itself so i'll just go to my zapier dashboard once you log in you'll come to this page i'll say create a zap and it will ask you for a trigger the trigger here is whenever somebody somebody submits a form on tally.so right so let's quickly set up the automation on zapier now so we are on the zapier dashboard guys and i clicked on create a zap right zaps are the automations in zapier so for us the trigger is when somebody submits a tally.so form and so i'm just going to search for tally it will give me that available one and obviously the only event they support right now is new response which is when somebody submits a form your form on tally.so not any form right now once you click continue you will have to connect your tally.so account so i'll say sign into tally and connect my logged in tally account to zapier if you're already logged in it will ask you for a permission right you will have to just say accept let me just quickly show you what it looks like yep so this is the page that pops up when i click on connect uh, my tally account inside the zapier dashboard right that i will just click accept and what they should do is ask us to continue right now yes our account is linked in uh, zapier now i'll just say continue and now the next step for us is to select the form which form should this automation work on and in our case it is book a one-on-one -on -one session right that we just created and i'll click continue once that is done it will ask us to test the trigger you can test the trigger or you can also skip it but uh, since i don't see a skip option i'll just say test and yeah so this is the last submission that we have and i'll say go right now test works we are getting the responses from tally now our second and most important step is to connect another app and do the automation right in our case it is scheduling a event on google calendar uh, so i'm just going to select google calendar it is available right here if you don't see this just search for it in uh, the search apps part and i'm going to click it right away and choose an event so inside choose an event you'll see a lot of options right a lot of options so the ideal one i would pick is quick add event and once i click on that i'll click next so here i'm linking my google account right so i'm just going to quickly link it it'll ask you for the calendar permissions this is for adding an event into your calendar right so if somebody is booking a time slot it will add an event into google calendar right now here you see there is a calendar option you can select your default calendar then describe the event here you can say one on one session booked in tally by 
you can also use the actual responses that you receive from the form right so here i'm going to use the name right so this guy booked the one-on-one -on -one session and now in the attendees we will have to add the person who submitted the form so that they also get a notification with this calendar invite right it's as simple as that so in the attendees i'm selecting who submitted the form and i'm when, when i'm connecting this action i'm selecting my own google form so that this gets added to my calendar as well and the submitters calendar as well right and now that's uh, pretty much it and i'll click on continue with that i think we should be done with the automation we'll just quickly test this out once this is done and uh, let's see if this works or not but before that let me just open my calendar also calendar.google.com should open my default calendar let's see now this is done now you can also test from inside jp right to see if the automation is working or not or you can skip it but i would highly recommend if you test and continue right now this should be okay that's my personal calendar let me just open my calendar and get back to you guys just a second yeah so that's my calendar and uh, let's just say test and continue okay we forgot one last thing right before we do the test and continue is to set the date and time guys obviously uh, the one who filled up the form gave us the date and time right so we have to set this up as an example from here right so one on one session in tally by this person at let's add the time that this person selected so there is big pick a date here and then there is pick a time right so i am just going to add this on and the date here which is pick a date right so now now this is set up right so what i'm going to do now is actually skip test here and submit the details there because right now there are no data for the time and uh, date right the only existing ones are the submissions that we did in our previous videos so i'm going to do skip test for now don't worry i'll just enable the zap zap here in zapier and go back and test the automation out right right now this is our situation right the other uh, automation that i would also recommend is to email yourself whenever this runs right so that you know if this is working or not and the last step obviously is to turn this on so i want to click here and turn it on once it is on you'll know if it is on or not so right now it is on as you can see it has turned green right now our final step is to go submit this form and test it out so i'm going to quickly open this form let's see now in our calendar we are seeing these dates let's book some time for 14th right so i'm just opening the form my name is kishore my name is kishore at test.com and my question is looking forward to talking to you and now my date is 14th and my time is 9 30 right i just want to pick in between uh, the time slot right it is obviously showing up because i'm booking a time for the morning guys sorry <laughs> My setup was completely all right so i'm going to do 8 30 pm and uh, now if i do if i do let's see 23 right obviously it'll show the error and uh, 8 30 and go right our booking is confirmed ideally now our zap should have run and added this to our calendar so yep there you go this is done the automation gets added automatically guys nothing no intervention required you can use this instead of Calendly or any other tool that you use to schedule events. The best part and the one that I really did not mention in the video is here. In the date field, you can also customize to a limited date slots, right? So you can do before a specific date or after a specific date or even a date range. For example, if you want to schedule these meetings only through two weeks of time, right? You can set up before date and after date or a date range and make sure people be able to schedule only through those dates or you can actually s even do specific dates for example if you want to skip one day you can also do that as well as part of the date field very powerful field uh, by tally.so where you can select individual level uh, data and you can obviously uh, by default select the uh, default date that is anyways available so that's how you pretty much automate your 
forms on tally.so using Zapier. And in Zapier, you can also check all the Zapierons in the history uh, tab where you can select and see when the Zap has run and how, what it has done, right? So you can do Zap history and see all the Zaps that have run. Zaps are basically automations. With that, we come to the end of this episode. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and drop a like if you found this useful. And uh, if you know anybody who's looking for uh, building stuff without coding, send them here because our channel is all about that. With that, I will see you in the next episode of Building with Tally.so. Peace.